Yeah, I got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show, Keith. We got a damn good show. So Jesse Lee Peterson went on Dr. Phil's show, and I'm pretty sure I know why they had him on the show. Jesse Lee was the smartest man on that show. He was dropping facts, knowledge. But he, Jesse uh, Lee is the man. But he kind of generalizes too much. Yeah, he don't know how to explain himself really good. No, he knows. He rubs stuff. people the wrong way. No. <laughs> <laughs> he knows how to explain. That nigga his... real vague when he's saying something. <laughs> <laughs> he, and I think he be he when he uh, tries to explain his uh, his point of view, his his sentiment about something, he's very vague. He doesn't go into well, detail, and it rubs people. It rubs people wrong. And well, it really rubs niggas wrong. He offends black people. Well, um, he explains himself really well. It's just sometimes he gets um, he 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 gets ha- caught up in being a white supremacist. <laughs> <laughs> man, you can't be a black man and a white supremacist. Well, Jesse proves everybody wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, keeps joking. We don't think Jesse is no, a white supremacist. No, no, he's not a white supremacist. I'm just joking. Yeah, we joking. We but, love Jesse. Jesse is a damn good man. If every black man replicated. Emulated Jesse Lee. Oh man, black community be a damn paradise. Be yeah. oasis. It would. I know crime. Would. I know crime rate would be really low. Crime be low. Criminals be getting. Oh man, we be. Oh man, criminals. They wouldn't even make it to jail. Yeah, he from the south. I can tell you from the south. His name is Jesse Lee Peterson. Yeah, Jesse Lee. <laughs> hey Jesse Lee, dinner's ready. <laughs> we got okra and grits on the stove. <laughs> <laughs> well, he grew up in the South. He said he grew up on a he plantation. Grew, he grew up on a plantation. That yeah. must have been a damn good living. Grew up on a plantation. Heard white man take good care of it. <laughs> he a little hut, little house, little outhouse to go take a dump in. And he bring okra and rice out to you. Hey, so he went on Dr. Phil. And uh, they was talking. Well, you know what I noticed about Dr. Phil? What? He doesn't really uh, stress his opinion. He doesn't emphasize anything. He's just there hosting the show, and he lets the uh, the um, the people on the show go at it. Well, but he, he really never, well, hey, you know, hey, hey, intervenes. Hey, 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 hey. He never talk. stresses his sentiment yeah, about he anything. He 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 brings people on there like Jesse, mm-hmm. because Jesse gonna come over and say something crazy. <laughs> yeah, and that's when he jumps in. Yeah, that's 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 his role on the show. Yeah, to wait till the uh, conservatives say something crazy. Yeah, so here we go. Let's check him out. Jesse Lee Peterson. He's from, I think, Mississippi. <laughs> I forget where he's from. Alabama or something. Alabama? I think so. I don't know. Yeah. Same shit. So what do you think? I think you said did. what you don't think. What do you think? I know that we need to restore the family. We need a smaller government because government don't make anything work. They no, screw you true. up. That's true. We That's need true. to stop taking care of women who are having these it babies out of wedlock. Correct. We need to stop taking care of these women who are coming from other countries. Yep. We need to stop taking care of their babies. But we need to take care of American families first by getting them away from the government and restoring order. Okay. You're, you're a pastor, right? Yes. And you're a radio host? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And you said you believe white people should have more children? We definitely need white babies. <laughs> And I tremble <laughs> at the idea that white babies, that the white uh, group is going down in numbers because if you lose white folks, America, it's over for America. Because if you notice, white people tend to be more innovative. They're more creative. They, they have ideas about things. All these other races don't do nothing but destroy. <laughs> they don't build. But they destroy. Wrong. Wrong. I said you'd piss off everybody. I was wrong. Now you piss <laughs> off everybody. <laughs> Well, what he said was true, but he what? didn't he didn't explain it right. <laughs> we do we need more white babies. I'm gonna tell you why, and I can explain it empirically, with actual evidence, scientific, statistical evidence. Well, say it. Why we need more white babies? Why we need more white people in the country? Because when a white baby's born, it's about what 60, 50? 60. Majority of the time, they're gonna be conservative. Am I right or wrong? It's 50, 50. Okay, 50. Let's go with 50. When a nigga's born, what side? Statistics, 10% is going to be conservative. 90% is going to be batshit crazy liberal. <laughs> Take the uh, Latino. What, they 30, 70? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, 70% batshit crazy, 30% um, conservative. Jesse's right. 
I mean, we need more white people in this country. But it doesn't have nothing to do with race. We just need. Yeah, it more doesn't have nothing to do yeah. with. Um, yeah, it has nothing to do with race. Yeah, I mean, so if it, if we it, need. Well, Jesse, shut up. What Jesse um, was trying to say, we need more conservatives. Yeah. You just, but what he said is actually true. You can't deny that. I just, I just showed you why. I, sh- I showed scientific, statistical, empirical research. Niggas born, 10% of them are going to be conserved. Latinos, 30% of them are going to be conserved. I got some The more. white man, the white man, at least 50 of them going to be conservative. That's, hey. why, that's why he said what he said. Okay, let me say something. You can't deny that my logic is undeniable. It's sound. It's bulletproof. He just at least scared the whole country from turning to Chicago. Yeah. If this country turns a uh, majority black, oh yeah. The the um then you would never see another Republican president. And the highest paid profession would be probably a politician. Politicians become kings, queens. Because it'll be one party rule. Be yeah, all Democrat. Yeah. yeah. Now you can't touch me. I am that is sound. I mean, if you're gonna pick a demographic of people you need to have more babies as Indians, like um Vivek Ramaswamy. That whole culture is about education, doing the right thing, mm-hmm. religious. Mm-hmm. That's his culture is like what America should stand for. What? That Indian guy? You like him, baby? I like him. I, I like Trump. Trump. I like him too. I like Trump better. Trump gonna be the next president. I mean, I like them both. I'm just saying. Oh like, man, I'm Trump, man. That dude's a sharp dude, man. Yeah, Trump, he's gonna be the next president. You know bro. what I think about Vivek? If he became president, he would be to the Republican Party what? Obama was to the um, Democrat Party. Think so? Yeah. He's actually what the country needs, but um, uh, I, I think we need Trump again. I think they both would do a great job. Yeah. I want to see Trump first, though. I would like to see him in there. I like to I see, see Trump, Trump Ben DeSantis, Ben Vivek. But he, he keep he, coming out with these uh, indictments and stuff. Um, man, I don't, you know I don't think. Fake. I know, but it's fake. I know. I know it's fake. I mean, he becomes president. I mean, what is. um. Trump could be found for murder. He still become president. No, y'all, y'all planted it on him. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, look, he didn't do it. <laughs> His fingerprint was planted there. <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks later, a videotape comes out. Trump's walking up covered in blood. <laughs> oh, that's AI. That's that's fake. <laughs> it's her every day, bro. <laughs> hey, but back to what Jesse Lee was saying. Um, but what he said was true. No, but that. That that's gonna offend people. You gotta well, say it a different way. I don't care. The truth is the truth. He should have just said the it. truth can't be racist. Facts, are but facts. he's he's claiming that only white people. Are, well, he said that's more, one part he said about black people only destroy. I don't agree with that. That was too far right. <laughs> black people build too. Usually after the white man has developed it. <laughs> <laughs> look what they did to basketball. Yeah, look what they did to football. White man invented both them sports. Black people just made it better. Yeah, hijacked it and took it over, huh? Yeah, yeah. But who came up with the idea? Yeah. White man. What we need White men are very inv- innovative, but uh, black people are very innovative, but, too. But that's a trait that's not exclusive to just white people. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. It's not exclusive to white people. Black people have did a lot of great when things. When Jesse was talking, he made it sound like it was just exclusive to them. Yeah, I know. Those that, traits. That's what, you know, he, that's, uh, that's white supremacy. <laughs> Well, the majority of what he said was true. You know what? That's why they had Jesse on the show. Jesse going to come up here. <laughs> I yeah. know Jesse good for something on this show. Yeah. Just give him about three minutes. <laughs> that's all the rope he needs. Yeah. But I agree with what he said. Yeah. More, I mean, but. Yeah. I mean, we need each other. We need white. We need black. Just say white people are like. When I white mean, and black come together, Keith, we make beautiful things. man. Made us. Look at us. Made me. Yeah. Yeah. Made us. Made the uh, National oh, white, Football white League. White and black came together? Mm-hmm. Made two Muslims. What? Look Muslim. Get it? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. I get it. Yeah, yeah but black people, um, who's doing the most destroying in this country? <laughs> it's government. You thought I was going to say niggas, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's government. Yeah. That's who's destroying. It's not black people... Majority of the people you see in jail is Latinos and black people. I get that. The sound, that's not racist. That's a statistical fact. But the reason why these people are this way is because of, you know, government has ruined their lives. I'm a firm believer. I mean, if you keep talking down to minorities saying you're less than and you need Democrats to help, that yeah. 
they give up. Yeah. And they just, I mean, I've seen it growing up in other, um, my black friends and stuff, and they just thought the world was against them, and that he locked up. Yeah, we used to think that they way. They decided to do something. Else. I never thought that way, man. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. You used to sag your pants and everything. You used to wear you crazy man. as hell. Yeah, you did, man. Stop I lying, never, man. You used, I never a, you used to be a light-skinned Muslim-looking thug, yeah. man. No, man. Yeah, you we did, man. never did that. Man, we, we, we used to thought the white man, remember we walk in a room with white people just looking at us? All the white girls like, oh, look, they act like they never saw a black man. Looking back on it, those girls just want to suck my cock. I had social anxiety. Cause no, I was black. that's called growing I had social anxiety. No, Kevin, that's called growing up in Martinsville, Virginia in the damn eighties. Yeah, no, those girls wanted it. But he didn't, they? Yeah, they did. We experienced a lot of racism. Yeah, we up. did. But those girls, when we walked in the room, mm -hmm. we thought they hate us because because we were black. No, they want to suck you, suck you off. That's what they wanted. That's what their mama wanted to do. The what? Remember that white boy? Basketball team kept trying to invite us over his house because she wanted to get with us. <laughs> Jay, won't y'all come on and spend the night over, over Kevin's house tonight? Yeah, that, his mom was a pedophile. But if I was the man I am now, those garden councils, you remember those garden guidance councils? Hey man, let's talk about you. Remember those garden councils? Those we ain't some pedophiles about... too. They was trying to take us home too. <laughs> guidance council in our high school want to take us home. <laughs> no, that was junior high. Man, if I had a time machine, I would go back in time. I would drill them white women. <laughs> Hey, can we talk about Jesse Lee? No, nah, that's not right what I said. I'm sorry. Hey, what I just said, I was just joking. Sometimes I go off on the deep end. I didn't mean none of that. That's pedophilia. I don't agree with that. I was on age. She was like 15, 16. Yeah, still pedophilia. What am I on age? She go, that woman go to jail for that. That's a boy. Well, you trying to condone that? That's a green for a boy, anyway. Boy, you crazy? Yeah, that's pedophilia. What's wrong with you? You Christian? I ain't no, no, I ain't you no, ain't, no, ain't a Christian no more, huh? I ain't no. But the devil got in you, huh? What you talking about? All right, yeah, I was joking. Yeah, you better, you better apologize. The show went off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got. I agree with Jesse said, man, but man, some of the things you say is just, it's just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got a new giveaway. I mean, but he's he's right, but it's he just gotta. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta just... say it better than that. <laughs> Hey, we got a new giveaway going. Giving away a Ram Diesel 2500 with the Cummins in there. Ladies love a truck with the Cummins in there. And we give away $10,000 in cash to go with the truck. The end of the win. Go to officialhogstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically end of the win. Yeah.